What are you saying, Baiji? Just enjoying the scenery over here. Let's see. Yeah, that looks really, really uh, just normal. It's so beautiful. So beautiful. You're gonna crack on with uh, with the packaging. I am. I've I've eaten breakfast. Dave's about to dig into his breakfast, and I'm gonna label um, label labels. So later on, label packages. So that later on. Label labels. <laughs> so later on, when we get back from the gym, I can just start packaging. Yeah. You know what's really good? I'll, sh I'll show you what's really good. I've got one, two, three, four, five boxes of watermelon overdrive signed and ready to be packaged. That means there's 150 and then we've got 250 behind me, that's 400. And then we're gonna be doing, as soon as we get back from the gym, we're gonna be doing a ton more. I think there's like 300 something orders left. So we've sold around 800 overdrives. So we're, we're catching up, we're catching up. There's a collection at six, collection at six today. And then we've got collection on Monday, which is uh, arranged. So by Monday, I hope I sell out by Monday and then everything's gonna be gone. And that's it. Then everybody's gonna have their pre-workouts by the end of the week. And that's just success and that's sick and I'm loving it. What do you think? I reckon it's gas. I reckon it's lit. Like last time we were at it, like breaking our backs for like three, four weeks. And then this time it's literally just- we, like It wasn't three, four weeks. Three weeks. Was it? Yeah, because it was so much like hassle. We sold, oh yeah, because we sold out in five days. Yeah, sold out but in five days. But we were fucking, we, we couldn't get it out for yeah, so long. Yeah, yeah, it was really, really tough. So it was like three weeks, we're like breaking our bags, stressing as well. Because we had to grab every single package, get out the door and go into a shop to scan it in. Yeah. This time we're just, all we're doing is staying here and like labeling and packaging and that's it. And yeah. then someone else is picking it up. So it's, it's really great. good. It's great. It's really good. Guest. All right, I'm going to eat breakfast. All right, I'm a confirmed gym bro. I was meant to train legs and I just don't want to. I don't want to and I'm just not going to. So I did push two days ago, did pull yesterday. I'm doing push again. It's good for the gains, mate. Think about it. If you want to get big, just bench. The gym bros have it figured out. What do you think, Lou? Yeah, bro. Yeah, you just train chest, train arms, train chest, ch train arms, train chest, train arms, and you get massive, mate. No, but on a serious note, I just sort of like, don't want to squat because I don't want to aggravate the thing. It's not, it doesn't even feel like it's there, but I don't want to aggravate it. So basically I'm just lying to myself. I just want to bench. I was telling Lucy, it just feels real good to just bench. I want to hit a push session again, because it's fun. Who doesn't like getting a chest bump and a shoulder pump? Because I do. I want to get, I want to get swole, mate. I'm taking the overdrive because I'm thinking like, because I'm training so often, the same body part so often. If I just take more stims, it will be as if I'm more recovered than I am. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. It makes sense in my mind, so it should make sense in your mind. All right, I'm gonna get rid of this. I'll see you in a sec. There is absolutely zero reason for me to be going in the gym and actually performing any of these exercises and doing this session. That it should have been a rest day, but I was like, oh, since I'm not squatting, and I'm just doing push, pull, push, pull, push, pull. I'll be fine, I'll be recovered. Uh, my elbow felt a bit cranky, and I just knew that recovery isn't on point, but I was like, well, uh, let's just try and see what happens because it's if I'm not squatting I was like the stress is gonna be low um, Turns out stuff was just feeling all over the place Like I still completed all my sets when it comes to bench press and stuff and it like moves all right You wouldn't be able to tell that I'm like under recovered and shit, but Everything just felt a little bit off on like my joints and then my chest right now. It's like so Used it feels like I've just done like 20 sets of 10 um, it's like really sore, which is like completely new, but obviously new stimulus equals soreness and over time it builds up That is 155 for a set of three, which is a match. I have matched my PR um, It moved pretty well. I'll probably have like 160 for three soon and then 180 maybe you know what I'm saying uh, and then a back off so I did 134 sets of eight, which is a weight that I've never done before Which is pretty cool like fatigued under recovered stressed out and I'm still managing to like bench and hit numbers that I should, which is just like amazing. Um, which is like, I took that as a little win, like that's a PR. Like, you can't complain about a PR at any point, you know what I mean? Um, even though I know I'm capable of it. It's not like a PR PR, which is like something new, but it's a weight I've never touched before, therefore it is a PR. And then I just finished off with just like a few sets of tricep extensions because I just literally couldn't handle anything. I didn't do overhead press. Um, I did some lateral raises, but I didn't have space to record. Um, but yeah, the tricep extensions with the V-bar are sick, mate. What can I say? It just feels like a little like bench press. Obviously, I'm not trying to use my chest, but you know what I mean, right? You know what I mean? It's just like a little close grip bench. It's just sick. Sick. Love you. All right, okay, basically what's happening, that was one of the worst sessions I've ever had in my entire life. I felt like shit. I should have taken a rest day. Um, I did still hit like all my sets and everything. I just didn't do overhead press because I was like, my elbows feel a bit 
cranky and janky and it just felt like wank. Anyways, moving on. I, oh, we're getting a collection in. He's the, the, the guy just literally called me about two minutes, he, two minutes ago. He was like, I'm coming here. I'll be five minutes. I was like, all right, sweet. So we're going to get all of these lemons, um, all of these orders out. And then we got 150, whatever here to get out. We're going to package that. Lucy's doing that right now. After we get the collection, we're going to go eat quick Nando's meal and then um, come back and then spend the rest of the day packaging like last time. So we're going to be up until like two, three, cranking them out. And then we're going to get like basically more or less all of them done, right? Much we're going to be up tomorrow. to like 700 orders. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. And we'll take, I think I'm taking rest day tomorrow, right? Are you resting tomorrow? Yeah, I'm resting. Yeah, I'm resting too. Sick. We'll be done. We'll be up. We'll, we won't be done because not everything's sold out, but we'll be caught up. There's like 350, 300 something tubs left. We're nearly there. We're nearly sold out. I'm gonna make a couple of videos, I'm gonna go live and stuff, try and get it all sold out, and we'll be done, and it'll be sweet. Sick! I'll see you in a minute. All right, we currently have a man outside of our flat, scanning and taking all the stuff out. Uh, me and Lucy are gonna go grab food, because as he's doing that, we can go grab food and then we'll come back. It's like efficient, right? So, we're gonna go grab some munch. Well, I'll see you probably at Nando's. I recorded my phone, so the quality's gonna be a bit different. You're just gonna have to forgive me, because I don't wanna take this massive camera. It's raining, okay? Just allow me. We'll see you at Nando's. You can see all the boxes are just lined up and the guy is gonna go and take everything take everything out he's scanning all the shit taking it by bag by bag he said it's gonna be like half an hour so we've got half an hour to go to go eat come back which is just down the road so it's all right what do you think buzzing 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 jeez i completely forgot to update you guys i've got a trim i gotta get a fucking trim because my hair is like it's so overdue because i'm obviously i'm meant to get trims way more often but it just so happens that we had the pre-workout stuff and whatever i haven't had time um, I've just managed to get some time right now. Lucy's packaging orders at home. I'm, I've got an appointment. I'm just gonna go grab a quick trim, come back fresh. All right, I'll see you in a bit. So yeah, nice haircut, mate. Nice haircut, mate. It's probably the worst, it literally looks so much worse on the camera. It's probably the worst trim I've ever gotten. It was actually so bad. This is the improved version. It was actually so bad. I came home. I uh, wanted to, at least you wanted to, uh, and then, and then, and then, I have a friend that's a hairdresser. I was like, please, can you just like try and fix the hair? So now I've lost all my hair. Literally looks like I've got some sort of buzz cut going. Um, really don't like it. And that's sort of the update. We've been packaging orders, by the way. So there's another like, 200 something here. Dave uh, had, he came back from the hairdressers and uh, he had a mental like, breakdown about his hair. Yeah. I felt really bad. Oh, cause if, cause my hair got destroyed not long ago. My hair, my hair got destroyed, and I was, I was devastated. So I can only imagine what it must be like if your hair is short and it gets destroyed. So. And the thing is, you see, I, I, you see, you're watching the video, right? And that, that means I have to watch it as well. So I have to see myself constantly in a state that I don't like to see myself in, and it's not optimal. It's important that you like the way you look, and you can like feel confident when you're speaking to the camera. Yeah, not that I'm gonna like be like not gonna record, but like it's I just. I didn't want to. I'm like, I just, it looks, I look, hate, hated my hair for a minute. Doesn't look great, but it will, it will grow back and it will be okay. I just sort of look like I just came out of boarding school. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say, oh, you look like you've come out of prison. Cause I reckon you look like you've come out of prison. Do you know what? I actually think here, you look like a Chad, but here you look a bit round. Yeah. I think it will, it will look terrible on video. Okay. All right. Listen. We're gonna carry on packaging orders. We've got, like I said, I've got like 200 here, stacked up, Lucy lifts. Right now, as, as of the time of recording this video, there's like 30 watermelon tubs left. So basically every single bit of watermelon has been sold out and the only things left are the lemon tubs. So not a lot left of the stock at all, which is good, sick. We're nearly, we're ahead of schedule, so it's all good. I'm pretty happy, we just have to get them all out. Yeah. Lit. It's really fun. It's really fun. It's not. It's literally just like sitting here. Do, 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 factory, factory, it's factory. But it's exciting. But it's exciting because it's, it's not like it's not like I'm actually working a job. It's like it's for me, right? It's mine. It's sick. I'm gonna fuck off because we just like just need to crack on. It is. What time is it? Ten past twelve. So I'll update you when uh, when it's a little bit later, right? In a bit. Yo, it's the next day and my hair is still terrible. Lucy's packaging orders. Love you. We got all the orders back there. We got collection coming up four. That's 250 going out the door. I told you that yesterday, I'm pretty sure. Jeez, that's clean, bro. That's clean. I was gonna say last night, we, we were gonna finish all of these orders last night. We realized that collection was gonna come later today. So we just relaxed a little bit last night. And because we've got a whole rest day today, we're not training. So we've yeah, got like, I mean, that, all that the time in the world to get all this stuff out. We're not being lazy. We're just like, the amount of uh, the amount of orders we can do in a day, which is like 250, 300, outweighs the amount of orders that we get in. It was because we had a rest day today because 
then we were like, oh, we'll just do it tomorrow morning instead of like... Yeah, because the collection's coming tomorrow, today anyways. It doesn't matter if you do it yesterday or today. This is yeah. making a difference. Yeah. And then afterwards, we've got another collection coming on Monday. So we've got now, what is it, today, Friday, right? Yeah. We've got so Saturday, Sunday, and then on Monday, I've got another collection. I'll see you soon when we go grab monsters because we're going to need caffeine and I'm not just going to take pre workout like a idiot. Do you know what I mean? No way. No way, Lou. No way. No way. <laughs> no way. We're done. There's like 250 right here. Let's go. So those are all the watermelon tubs right there, ready to be collected at four. Me and Lucy are going to probably shower, right? Done. We're going to go get some monsters because we've got more work to do. This is just like the watermelon. And then we're going to go, we're going to go back to lemon ones again and then go back to watermelons. We're going to do international orders and stuff. We're going to crack on doing that. I'll see you in a second. All right, we're going to go grab some, uh, I'm going to go a meal deal and I need to grab I have two monsters because I need caffeine. Otherwise, number one, I'm addicted to caffeine because I take so much every day. Then I'm going to get a headache. And number two, I want some caffeine because I like the feeling of it. That's why I'm addicted to it. You know what I mean? It's just like a double whammy. What are you saying, big man? I'm buzzing to get a monster. Jeez. Do you know what I like? The crack and the sip of a pipeline punch. Lucy's looking fresh as fuck. Looking cute as shit. Sheesh. All right, little fit check. Little fit check. <laughs> Have you showed the J's? Look at the J's. <laughs> He's fake J's. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, they're actually replicas. Some company gave them to me ages ago. They're like, they're not real. They're just like replica shoes. But either way, I would never pay for shoes. I'll literally like wear my vans until they have holes in them and then I'll buy another pair. So, all right, that is that. I'll see you at Tesco's. Like I told Lucy, loads of choice, mate. Loads of choice. Because the other Tesco's got far cool choice. There's no fucking pipeline punches in the refrigerator section. Well, you're gonna have a warm one. Is there a normal one? Yeah, they're in packets. The packets, I'm gonna get one. Yeah. I thought you were just uh, saying a bad word. The only sensible choice, to be honest with you. You're probably thinking it's this one, but it's not. It's this one, the mango one. The mango one goes crazy, mate. Lucy's actually raging because uh, she only likes one monster and one well, I monster. Like, I like two. I like the white monster, which is here, and I like pipeline punch. But pipeline punch is like a 10, and the white is like an eight, and then everything else is like a four, so I don't really know. Lucy's really choosing. Do you mind? I like start, I like start talking and then you're like, Lucy's really choosing. You're joking. You're joking, you're joking, you're joking. This is all the meal deal stuff, where all the sandwiches are. And there's no sandwiches. I know I just had breakfast, but like, I wanted to get a meal deal, get some crisps, get like the monsters in the meal deal. Can't fucking have them. What? How is it out of stock at like a, like a early hour where like people actually have meal deals? That's ridiculous, right? Hello? Anybody? Just me? Just me? It's fucked. I mean, do you know all of this tra traffic in Chelmsford at the moment that's going on? Yeah. Maybe it's something to do with that. Everyone's buzzing for a meal deal because they can't get anywhere else. <laughs> they saw my video. I got like 1.3 million views. They're like, oh. Let's get meal deal. Club. Let's get chicken club. <laughs> tell you what, I'm just going to fucking crack it open right now. You can do this, by the way. If you're in a shop, I've seen some people tell me you can't do it. Then you go pay for it and then it's yours. Yeah, I mean. I've got the funds in my bank account. Um, This one, Mango Fiesta, is it? Tastes mm -hmm. fucking. Like 9.5 out of 10. That is complete cap. No, it's really good. Oh, it does not taste like That's really popular at the gym. People always get that one. I really like it. All right, we've made it to another Tesco because the other Tesco had no sandwiches, as you saw. So I'm just going to grab my standard meal deal, which is the chicken club. There's only a few left. They don't do the UFIT shakes here, do they? Are you kidding me? Yeah, last time we came here, they didn't have yeah, frozen shakes. Tesco's, so that. This Tesco is basically a disaster when it comes to fucking anything. Tell you what, I think Jimmy's iced coffee. Jimmy's a pretty sweet guy, no? I'll have a Jimmy's sweet, sweet coffee. Sweet coffee? Okay. Iced coffee. I'm gonna have to settle again for the uh, porn cocktail, which is not great. I prefer you the said other they're ones. Right, though. I prefer the, yeah, they're all right, but I prefer the other ones. They just taste a lot better. Okay. Is what it is. Lucy always gets the worst choice. No, I usually get sushi. You get but sushi don't... with sushi as oh a snack. Oh my god, is that? Oh my god. Sushi with sushi as a snack, and then like to drink, she probably gets like piss because she just loves having the worst flavors. Shut up, Dave. And like zero protein. No, that's not true. I usually get a shake or like chicken breast or like a high protein Cat. thingy. Cat. Are you seeing what I'm seeing here? Are you seeing? Are you seeing the Fortnite battle bus? Lou, what? I know what I want for Christmas. What? what the, the Fortnite battle bus. Yo, we're home. Basically, we just had 250 orders collected. There's loads of boxes here. I don't know how many you can tell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven boxes here. Sweet! That's sick. That's fucking sick. What do you think, Lucy? Oh yeah, that's so fucking sick, bro. Let's My go. G, My dab G. me up. Woo! And that is the end of the video. Me and Lucy are gonna carry on packaging orders because we've got stuff to do. There is actually a collection coming tomorrow, which is Saturday and also a Monday, so we're gonna do a lot of stuff. Um, if you enjoy the video, please leave it a like. I'm sorry that it's been a little bit hectic. It's not as well edited. There's not as much going on as usually there is because 
I, I don't have time. I don't have time. I'm sorry. I apologize, okay? But the video is going to get better. My trim is completely fucked. Um, yeah. Let's just hope it all gets better.